Hey Hoyt family, this is John up here at McGrath again. Hey, figured I'd shoot you over a little bit of an inside walk around just so you guys kind of know uh, once you guys get it exactly uh, what all the buttons do and all of that. So starting over here on your door panel, this is going to be your mirror suggester. Uh, unlock, unlock. Um, this is a little bit different. So this is child locks for the back seat as well as the back windows. Uh, up here is going to be your trailer brake controller, four wheel drive shifter, and then your headlights. Wipers are there on the left hand side and it's just a twist of the little front thing here and then for your goop all you do is just push that forward. Uh, hazards are right above the steering wheel. Left side is going to be your cruise control to work that it's just going to be the middle button to turn on and then the bottom uh, button to set it. Uh, other than that you do have steering wheel volume controls and radio station controls on the back side of the steering wheeler so over here and over here. On this side this is where you can scroll through your driver's information display. Uh, you know your fuel mileage, oil life, tire pressure, economy, uh, off-road uh, setup and all that kind of stuff. Hopping over here onto the main uh, information screen. So it just has the uh, standard Bluetooth, USB, all that kind of stuff. It does have a CD player here. Uh, XM radio. It does have AM and uh, FM as well. Uh, taking a look down here, it does have a dual climate control system. So if I want to maybe raise it up a little bit, I can do that. This is your fan control right here, and then these buttons here are where the air actually blows. Down there, you do have a 115 plug down there, and then a 12 volt power outlet. You have a cubby here, and then here in the armrest, you have two USBs as well as another 12 volt. If you guys have any other questions, please do let me know. And again, this was John up here at McGrath. See ya.